to be fair, it has been like over a month since we played this. Yeah, the fuck have we been up to? We've been doing so much, and so little. Yeah, I, I genuinely got nothing done. I went to the aquarium with my boy. That was yes, nice. You did. You had a whole week where you just went silent on everything online. Yeah. You were having so much fun. Yeah. He's afraid of sarks. He did not like the sarks. <laughs> what are they gonna do? Jump through the glass? Maybe. It's a Mario painting? He didn't even like pet the little sarks that they had in like the little containers. He pet the uh, rays though. He really liked the little like manta ray things. The little devil rays. Good thing he doesn't know that manta rays are just flat sharks. He knows. But the manta rays were cute. They like came up and like fucking let you pet them. Yeah, they, they'll like come up and nibble your fingers too. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> Like, they, like would... they, they know the world through their what, visual stuff above them and their mouth below them. Yeah, like they would try to like get your fingers in their mouths, but they don't have any teeth, so it was like fine. Or I guess that's inaccurate, they have like beef that can't really bite you. They, they have, have like little raspy teeth that only really work on like filtering mud. Yeah, they have like sandpaper teeth, like a snail do. You no, know, I never think about snail teeth. No? It always just looks like they're licking something. Yeah, because they like scrape and lick like a vampire bat. It just looks like they're rubbing their face on it and slowly but surely something starts going like through their neck and disappearing. I gotta catch the mice. I have to catch mice. The Mia mice. The Mia mice. You don't know what a Mia mice is because you never played uh -huh. Neopets. I never did. It was one of those little green guys a Mia mice? Yeah, look at that tiny guy. Look, it's very- I like how he has like the same polygonal count as anything else, so he just looks like he's scaled down. He is just small. They they didn't want to do like the the eight polygon thing, like a classic World of Warcraft did with its like critters. The rabbit, its head was like four polygons. In what? Starcraft? Starcraft has oh. rabbits? No, World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft? World of Warcraft, more like it. Starcraft skipped through the whole, like, weird 3D model stuff. It, it was 2D and then it was, like, 3D high def, high poly. God, what a decrepit little creature. <laughs> what are you bending? <laughs> oh. <laughs> My goodness. That's terrible. Amazing animations. Can I dump with it? No. No, you'd shake its head and turn its brain into a smoothie. I'm supposed to put it in a cage, but I don't actually know where the cage is. You just gingerly, Wait. like. Oh, no, it's over there in the corner in front of you. Wait. <laughs> you can't drop it through the grate. Ah! Oh, they're on the corner. Get him. Oh, um. Okay, I'm gonna drop you down the well. Let me get you. I'm gonna throw you down the well. That's what I do in real life. I take, like, field mice and I drop them down the well. How rude. No. That's where they live. That is not where they live. Yeah, it is where they live. Can these guys just, like, not walk through those bars? Well. Or, like, climb over? They probably could, but like... All things are pretty good at jumping. Yeah, but like, escaping jail is a crime and they don't want to like add on to their sentence. And how did they get out the first time? I don't want to talk to you! Give me the mouse! No, give me the mouse! Because it's a kid's game, they have to be like, Oh, we're just putting them back in their cage, not we're exterminating them and murdering every single one of them because they'll give us diseases. No, oh, like the uh, girl over there said that the last squire like, tried to squish them. What's so wrong about that? Yeah, mice are for squishing. Haven't you ever like taken a mallet and like gone around and started bonking like mice on the head? Every day. Like that uh, Jonan Vasquez like comic about like the Lenore. I really like Jonan Vasquez's comics, but I haven't like read any in a long time. Like probably before even like fucking Invader Zim came out. You, however, have never gone to the public library to read whatever, just, like, various comic books they have to, like, check out. No, I have not. 
Yeah. So you're like missing out. I, yeah, I I don't go to the library that often. That's so sad. You're missing that like valuable like uh experience of being taken to the library as a baby. I mean I I I have the childhood memory of being taken to the library because my mom was like wanting to pick up a book or something. And I would always go over to the DVD section. Yeah, and watch the Veggie Tales. See, that's sad. Get a book. Yeah, we, we always pick up Veggie Tales DVDs. Go to the library and read a book. Well, I do now, and I read in real life now. Yeah, you got a you got a couple books from the library recently. We had a library yeah, adventure. Well, not too good, but uh, the other one I've always been too tired to like crack open. Every time I get up there, I've been too busy trying to do all my like Blender and video game and art stuff. The late fees are gonna be insane. Actually, uh, before the first due date even came, they gave me an extension, so they're due sometime this month. That's actually pretty good. It's like. When you check out a book from the library and you only have like a week to keep it, that's like not enough time to read it. It's usually a month. But yeah, I have a feeling it's because those books aren't very popular. Because it's nerd stuff. I hate nerds. And, and not the popular nerd stuff. The boring nerd stuff. Like, specifically one niche subject. The, the old definition of a nerd. Someone who bites the heads off of chickens? No, the slightly newer, but still older, definition of a nerd. This just makes me want to play the Harry Potter, like, PlayStation game. Those are good video games. Uh, Lego Harry Potter. No, those are good games. No. I like the Harry Potter video games because they came out, like, before the movies did. They were based off the books? Yeah. I really like well, the movies took like seven years to make, so it yeah. was probably from the like early one. Yeah, like shit happens in the video games that happen in the books that don't happen in the movies. But also the movies yeah. suck and video games are cool. Well, most video game adaptations from that time are shovelware and they just did whatever they want with the story. Like a uh, Toy Story or uh Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, what are some other shovelware games based uh, off of existing media? The fucking Charlie and the Chocolate Factory PlayStation 2 game. Because I remember you'd have to like blow big fucking bubblegum bubbles or some shit to roll up vines. And then you had to knock those vines into big like fucking machinery. Some shit like that. There's supposed to be a lever Ooh. here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I completely blinded it. <laughs> To be fair, most video games usually shade interactables differently. No, I like it when they like blend into the background. That way it feels more natural. It makes it feel more real. It makes you feel stupider when you realize that you missed it. A slorg. Yeah, I think a slorg was like my first pet pet in like actual Neopets, like the website. Just because they were like really cheap and like yeah. look kind of not terrible. What is, uh, what is a slurg? It's like a slug... what? It's a slug. Okay. It's just it's just a slime slug. And they call it a slurg. I figured out my uh, C. I thought it was a C instead of a G, so I was like, oh, it's slug orc. It's a slurg. Slurg. It's slug was said with a funny net accent. You know, I've been watching more... I, I, past couple days, I've been watching some Vine Sauce VODs and clips. You, you never watch Vine Sauce. Oh, I like Vinny stuff. He's funny. I like Joel. You like Joel, I like Vinny. Joel's funny. Nobody likes Mike. Nobody likes Mike. Mike sucks. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Joel, Joel has that, like, funny, like, Viking aesthetic going on where it's crazy and then Vinny's got the like super jaded New Yorker or whatever yeah. but what does Mike have he's not even that clown and yet yeah we're just gonna like bully this like dude for like 10 minutes we're gonna bully this guy with millions of subscribers who's yeah. making at least a decent amount of money off of twitch like Joel is insanely funny it is 
a mystery how one person can be so goofy, and then Vinny is very chill. It's very like comfortable. He's very chill, but funny stuff happens to him. Yeah. Like he doesn't try to be funny, and when he does, it's usually all right, decent. But the funniest stuff happens to him. Yeah. Like how he has seemingly has this ability to always glitch out a game whenever he tries and accidentally do speedrunning tricks. He practice passive. Yeah. But from from what you uh, say about uh, Joel, he, he's actively funny. Yeah. He makes good jokes. Speed. Oh. That's a copyrighted phrase. You're gonna be like a uh, BMCA. And your videos are monetized. And they never will be, hopefully. You never want to make money off of YouTube. That is the one-way track into either disappearing off the internet forever or getting canceled for something you said. Oh. I want to make videos for me. They're for me. They ain't for nobody else. Don't like, you forget it. If you're watching this video and you aren't me, you can, like, fuck off. I hate you. You know I watch these videos. That's fair. Okay, but anybody else, if you watch this video, I want you to know that I hate your guts. What about, uh, Koya? He doesn't watch these videos. That's rude. Okay, anybody who is not an active participant in the channel, I hate your guts. Take it easy! Like, unironically, your life is worthless and- GET SERIOUS! Ironically, don't. Unironically? Are you so toxic? Leave a comment on this video with your full address and I'll, like, mail your- NO PROBLEM! I don't think you can publish that on YouTube. <laughs> no. I don't think that's allowed. <laughs> no. For anyone. Low to your god could say it. Look to your god as a streamer. His clips are continuously uploaded to the internet. I love Low Tier God. Your most problematic fave, Low Tier God. Yeah. Apparently, he's like a legit, like trans ally. But the funniest thing for him to be. In the way that he's like, still problematic. Like he's not like a uh, anti-trans, but he's still like a fucking like absolute goober you know what it should feel like when somebody wants to change their gender it should be like you just woke up and smelled the air like it, it should just be normal at this point i got only only someone who is chronically online would think that he is actually problematic no he is absolutely problematic that man has had like some horrible shit oh god these tentacles suck like, I can't even use my seal because they, like, knock me over. You have any, like, ranged attack? No. No AoEs besides... Mm. All I can do is, like, stab my sword at them, and then if I dare use my seal, I get fucking clobbered. You're at a point in this game where it's hard to tell whether you're just playing bad or you're forgetting a mechanic. Or if it's just hard. No, because, like, if I use my seal, they hit me anyways. Like, I am at a disadvantage if I use my seal against the sewer enemies. And then my sword's somewhat weak. I could equip the, uh, like, uh, moat to it to give elemental damage. I was wondering but, like, if you should try that, but I forgot what they were called. I don't know how much of an advantage that would give give and like i tend to like hoard items and i don't want to use up all of my moats because what if i need to open a box you know come back later Kitty. oh a fairy land what else heartland i That's really like the trip. books that is where i'm from because they have Home? this filter on their screenshots I don't think that's a screenshot. I think that's a drawing. Or at least no, a drawing a over a screenshot. But no, I... I... That... That's a drawing. But no, I really like this. I feel like more video games should just have, like, little lore books just scattered around where you can, like, get little snippets of what's going on. Just a library that nobody's at and you can just look in. Tentacle. Wow. 
window. It's better than just occasionally finding a dead body with a, like, voice log, and it just, like, plays. No, like, if the text over here had, like, a little tip on, like, how to beat these things, that would be perfect. I love shit like that. Like, if you came here before perfect you went down secret. the sewers, you'd be at an advantage. Rewarding exploration. Yeah, not just exploration, but reading. Like, this is awesome. I love this. Picking up little field mice and bopping them on the head. 